Following rumors that she broke up with Dr. Bay, fans caution Phaedra Parks about the mystery man in new photos. Phaedra Parks, the original Real Housewives of Atlanta, caused a stir at the Charles Oakley Foundation's Black Tie Gala, and social media went crazy. However, she wasn't by alone. As fans wondered what had become of the Dr. Bay Phaedra had introduced in 2023, they couldn't help but speculate whether the mystery man was her new love interest. The franchise's peach-holding stars attended the event, which was held in Atlanta on August 15th. The Atlanta lawyer captured everyone's attention with her new arm candy, but the ladies still looked stunning on the red carpet. The Phaedra and Cheek fan account, the RHOA talk, shared pictures and a video of them together. She looked radiant, while he wore a grim expression. He also flaunted his good features in two separate suits. Cohn is an entrepreneur that owns a medical supply firm in addition to an auto company, according to their caption. Cohn, who was tall, black, and attractive, left a lasting impression on ex-users. One follower wrote, She got herself a snack snack. Who dis? inquired another. His well-groomed look gave some people the impression that he was wealthy. Another fan exclaimed, One thing Phaedra going to do is keep a man with a coin. A video from the occasion shows Cohn getting dressed by someone who seems to be Nyoni Celestio, Nini Leakes' boyfriend, as he quips, Ooh, I'm trouble, in a joking hint to his appearance. Nobody in the comments section seemed to miss the presence of Sio. Not Nini's man tailoring his suit, someone other said. Messy Simon, Patricia, and him, Nini's man, are all now conspiring with this guy, lol. Cohn's attractiveness was praised by some, but not everyone was swayed by his charm. A few admirers conjectured that Phaedra might have partnered with a con artist, considering his sardonic sense and enigmatic aura. One person wrote, He dated my friend and scammed her OMG. This is giving me scamish vibes. Again, exclaimed another. More inquiries concerning Cohn's history and goals flooded the comment area. What is his age? One fan remarked, He looks way younger than her. Some conjectured that he could be an actor sent in to add flair to Phaedra's comeback to the program. Which son did she rent from? Another follower made the quip, this makes me think of the days when Kenya used to hire boyfriends for a season. Introducing her ex-husband, some asked, Where's Apollo? And others remarked, What's this kid got to teach Phaedra? God, oh God, an additional Apollo 2.0. Phaedra always seems to be able to draw in men, particularly younger ones. However, as her past with her ex-husband Apollo Nita and a few other people demonstrates, it hasn't always been easy to keep them out of trouble. The pair was hitched in 2009, but things changed in 2014 when Apollo received an eight-year prison sentence for fraud. Due to this legal setback, Phaedra filed for and was granted a divorce in 2017. Following his release from prison, Apollo and the attorney split custody of their sons, Aiden and Dylan. However, in March 2024, Apollo was taken into custody and charged with family violence battery in Georgia following an alleged incident with Sharian Al Mufti his current wife, according to page six. It's unclear if his custody agreement was affected by that arrest. Phaedra continued to assist males who were facing legal troubles after Apollo. She was associated with Tim Norman, the star of Welcome to Sweetie Pies, in 2016. When Norman was apprehended in regard to a conspiracy involving the murder of his nephew for pay, their relationship came to an abrupt stop. They broke up because Phaedra distanced herself due to the seriousness of the accusations. After that, Phaedra had a brief, few-month-long romance with Chicago radio presenter Tona Capone. Later on, she started dating the actor Medina Islam. Their relationship was highlighted on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. 2020 saw the end of the partnership since Islam wanted more intimacy than Phaedra could provide. They also ended things. After Phaedra joined Married to Medicine in Season 10, talk about her romantic life resumed. She brought up dating a doctor during this period. She had discussed this relationship at BravoCon in 2022. She said on the show that the connection lasted more than a year and that the doctor's nationality added an interesting component to their relationship. Someone posted on the internet asking, Pump the brakes. Where's the pediatric cardiologist? Other than the potential moniker Mr. O, little information regarding this physician is still unknown. 
and Phaedra's castmate Dr. Heavenly Kymes has voiced doubts. In an interview with Atlanta Black Star, Dr. Heavenly was asked about the physician and said, Chile, please ask the next question because I don't, you know, find out from her about it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys lies. Okay, I'm not going to lie. In October 2023, Phaedra made hints about the existence of another doctor in her life, as reported by Page Six. She first appeared on RHOA in 2010, but her time there ended in 2017 when she acknowledged spreading false information about cast members Todd Tucker and Candy Burris. She was fired from the program as a result of the complaint, which included allegations of a conspiracy to drug and sexually attack Portia Williams. Phaedra debuted earlier this year in season one of the television series Traitors. Viewers are now eager to see how Phaedra's story will develop as she makes a comeback to reality TV with a new partner. One fan exclaimed, I love how NBC Bravo has gradually brought Phaedra back to our television screens. The real reason Phaedra Parks got divorced. The difficult relationship between Phaedra Parks and Apollo Nita was extensively chronicled in the previous seasons of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The reality TV cameras documented every detail of the couple's tumultuous romance, and it's safe to say that it was quite the roller coaster. However, their love affair began long before the RHOA cameras began to roll in 2008. This was a case of being tracked down on the highway and brought home. Hey, it happens, evidently. Phaedra told Daily Mail TV in 2019 that she initially met her now ex-husband in 1995 while traveling, which occurred 10 years after their marriage. In the true sense. After spotting me and pointing me out, he followed me home and knocked on my door saying, Hey, I want you to be my girlfriend. That's how we met, Phaedra said of their first encounter. Apollo was extremely nice, always very generous, just a really good guy. Together, the two would go on to have two sons, Aiden in 2010 and Dylan in 2013. Regrettably, though, the lawyer-turned-reality TV star didn't quite hold on to her initial image of Apollo as a good guy. In 2016, the pair filed for divorce, and let's just say that there were a few good reasons why these two ended themselves in Splitsville among the many Real Housewives celebrities. This is Phaedra Parks' true divorce reason, Apollo Nida's legal trouble. Apollo Nita's well-documented run-in with the law was undoubtedly one of the main causes of Phaedra Parks and Nita's divorce. In 2014, the spouse of Real Housewives was sentenced to eight years in prison after being accused of identity theft and bank fraud, source the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. The lead-up to and aftermath of the sentencing were chronicled on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where a heated altercation between the two was depicted in a season 7 episode following Apollo's revelation of his length of prison sentence. Phaedra has likened the split to Apollo's theatrical legal dramas and his fabrications of the true circumstances. In 2019, she candidly acknowledged to Daily Mail TV, I was done. I was done with the relationship the instant I found out he had done all of this. He was financially secure and had no regard for his sons or me, so why would he do something so irrational and senseless? It was incredibly self-centered. Just stoking that flames even more? The challenge of getting in touch with Apollo while he was incarcerated. In 2017, Phaedra told Us Weekly that when he was in solitary confinement, he was unable to make calls or receive visitors. Speaking candidly on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2014, Phaedra said, I didn't have any idea that any of this was going on until he called me and said, Hey, I've been arrested. Phaedra has also maintained that she was not informed of his misdeeds. Phaedra Parks felt conned by her ex-husband. Since Apollo Nita had a criminal record dating back to the 1990s and had been convicted years before to his well-known eight-year jail sentence, Phaedra Parks genuinely extended her forgiveness to him for his early legal troubles. Apollo served six years in prison after being found guilty of participating in a car theft plot in 2004 via starcasm. At that time, he and Phaedra broke up but they got back together after he was freed. He came to me as soon as he was released from prison. He desired to have lunch with me. He bought me flowers when I was out of the country. And that's how we got back into dating, she recalled in a 2019 interview with Daily Mail TV. I thought he was changed. I honestly did. He seemed like he had matured a lot. He appeared more serious about settling down and having a family, she continued, and she believed they had a true connection, 
which was what convinced her to get back together. 